The Western countries are considered to be the leading ones today, but their journey to rise started in the 16th century, and the state to bring it on was none other than Great Britain. In literally no time, this empire grew so big that it nearly ruled over half of the world. Today, we're going to have a look at how Great Britain actually became great. Let's get started. The Early Years The British Empire began to take shape in the 16th century, when English explorers and merchants began to establish trading posts in North America, the Caribbean, and India. These early settlements were motivated by a desire to access new markets and resources, and to compete with other European powers such as Spain and Portugal. One of the key factors in the early success of the British Empire was its maritime prowess. The British Navy was the most powerful in the world, and this gave Britain a significant advantage in projecting power around the globe. The British Navy was also essential for protecting British trade routes and colonies. Another key factor in British imperial success was the Protestant Reformation. The Reformation led to a religious and political upheaval in England, and it also created a new sense of national identity. Many Britons believed that it was their duty to spread Protestantism to the rest of the world, and this religious motivation played a role in British imperialism. On the other hand, the British economy was growing rapidly in the 16th and 17th centuries. This economic growth was fueled by the expansion of trade and the rise of new industries such as textiles and mining. The British needed new markets and resources to support their growing economy, and this was another factor that motivated British imperialism. Britain's Imperial Century The 19th century is often referred to as Britain's Imperial Century. During this period, Britain expanded its empire to its greatest extent. Britain's imperial expansion was driven by a number of factors like nationalism, geopolitics, and economic interests. As Britain was eager to secure new markets and resources for its growing economy, Britain also wanted to protect its existing trade routes and markets. So, as its industrialization phase was on its peak, it started to colonize the world and overcame their economies via trading. But the economic interest only couldn't help a state rise this rapidly. So now the question arises, what else influenced the Britain Empire? And it was none other than nationalism. British nationalism was on the rise in the 19th century, and many Britons believed that it was their duty to spread British values and civilization to the rest of the world. Along this, Britain was concerned about the rise of other European powers, such as Germany and Russia. So it was trying to dominate the game of geopolitics. By expanding its empire, Britain sought to maintain its global dominance. So influenced by all of these factors, the British Empire began to expand, starting off with the annexation of India in 1858, then the conquest of Egypt in 1882, and scramble for Africa in the late 19th century. This resulted in Britain acquiring India, Egypt, and a number of new colonies in Africa. By the end of the 19th century, the British Empire controlled over a quarter of the world's land surface and population. Britain's empire was truly global, and it stretched from North America to Africa to Asia to Australia. The British Empire in India One of the most important British colonies was India. The British East India Company, a private company chartered by the British Crown, began to trade in India in the early 17th century. Over time, the company expanded its influence and power, and by the mid-19th century, it was effectively ruling India on behalf of the British government. British rule in India was both beneficial and harmful. On the one hand, the British introduced new technologies and infrastructure to India, and they also helped to improve education and healthcare. On the other hand, the British exploited India's resources and people, and they also suppressed Indian culture and identity. However, British rule in India also had a number of negative consequences. These include the exploitation of India's natural resources such as coal and cotton, the displacement of Indian peasants and artisans by British-owned businesses, and above all the suppression of Indian culture and identity. The British Empire had a profound impact on India. British rule introduced new ideas and technologies to India, and it also led to the development of a new Indian identity. However, British rule also exploited India and its people, and it left a legacy of bitterness and resentment. Let's have a look. British Empire at its peak At its peak in the early 20th century, the British Empire controlled over a quarter of the world's land surface and population. 
This vast empire stretched from Canada to India to Australia, and it included a wide variety of cultures and peoples. The British Empire was able to maintain its power and influence at its peak due to a number of factors. Powerful Navy The British Navy was the most powerful in the world, and it gave Britain a significant advantage in projecting power and protecting its trade routes and colonies. Economic Strength Britain was the world's leading industrial power in the early 20th century, and this gave it a strong economic base to support its imperial ambitions. Technological Superiority Britain was a leader in technological innovation during the early 20th century, and this gave it an edge over its rivals. Its administrative and military expertise The British government had a highly skilled bureaucracy and military, which was essential for managing and defending such a vast empire. The British Empire at its peak was a truly global superpower. It was the dominant economic, military and cultural force in the world. However, the empire began to decline in the mid-20th century due to a number of factors, including the rise of nationalism, the world wars and the Cold War. The decline of the British Empire The decline of the British Empire was a gradual process. It began in the mid-20th century and accelerated in the second half of the century. By the end of the 20th century, most of the British colonies had gained independence. There are a number of reasons for the decline of the British Empire. One reason is the rise of nationalism in the colonies. As indigenous peoples became more educated and aware of their own cultures, they began to demand independence from British rule. Another reason for the decline of the British Empire is the two world wars. The First World War severely weakened Britain's economy and military, and the Second World War further depleted Britain's resources. Britain simply could not afford to maintain such a vast empire after the Second World War. Finally, the Cold War also played a role in the decline of the British Empire. Britain was caught in the middle of the Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. This rivalry forced Britain to divert resources away from its empire and towards its own defence. The British Empire had a profound impact on the world. It left a legacy of both positive and negative consequences. Positive Legacies The British Empire helped to spread the English language and culture around the world. This has had a significant impact on global culture and communication. The British Empire invested heavily in infrastructure and transportation in its colonies. This helped to develop new economic opportunities and improve the lives of many people. Moreover, they introduced new technologies and ideas to its colonies. This helped to improve education, healthcare, and other aspects of life. Negative Impact However, the British Empire also had a number of negative legacies. These include exploitation of the resources and people of its colonies. This led to poverty, inequality, and resentment. They suppressed the cultures and identities of its colonies. This led to a loss of cultural heritage and identity. The British Empire used violence and oppression to maintain its rule. This resulted in the deaths and displacement of millions of people. Perspectives on British imperialism There are a number of different perspectives on British imperialism. Some people believe that the British Empire was a force for good in the world. They argue that the British Empire brought peace, prosperity and civilization to its colonies. Others believe that the British Empire was a force for evil in the world. They argue that the British Empire exploited and suppressed its colonies and that it left a legacy of poverty, inequality and resentment. The truth about the British Empire is complex and nuanced. It was both a force for good and a force for evil. It is important to acknowledge both the positive and negative legacies of the empire in order to understand its true impact. This is it for today. Make sure you give it a like and share it with your fellows.